In round 18, start with one chain stitch, turn the fabric, and then work one increase, 18 crochets, and one increase in turn. Place a marker in the last stitch of round 17. Work one chain stitch first. Turn the fabric. This marked stitch is where we should crochet the first stitch of round 18. Remove the marker. Work one increase in the marked stitch, which means working two some crochets in the same stitch. Mark the first some crochet. This is the first stitch of round 18. Work one more some crochet in the same stitch. Then work 8 some crochets. Add some crochets down, remove the marker, and work one increase in this marking stitch. Round 18 is done. Place a marker in the last stitch of round 18. In round 19, start with one chain stitch, turn the fabric, and then work one increase, 10 some crochets, and one increase. Work one chain stitch first. Turn the fabric, work one increase. This is where we'll crochet the first stitch of round 19. Remove the marker. Mark the first some crochet. Work one more some crochet in the same stitch. That's one increase. Then work ten some crochets. Turn some crochets are down. Next, work one increase.
place a marker in the last stitch. Then work 21 chain stitches. Twenty one chain stitches are done. Turn, skip the first three chain stitches and work one double crochet through one side of the fourth chain. Yarn over the hook first. Insert hook into the left loop of the fourth chain. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop. There are three loops on hook now. Yarn over the hook and pull through the first two loops on hook. There are two loops on hook. Yarn over the hook again and pull through the remaining two loops on hook. That's one double crochet. Double crochet. First, work three chain stitches. OK, turn over the fabric. We are going to work a double crochet. Yarn around the hook. Insert hook into the stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Pull through the first two loops on hook. There are two loops left on the hook now. Yarn on hook, pull through the remaining two loops on hook. That's a double crochet. Then work three snip stitches. Three snip stitches are done. Work seven chain stitches. Turn, skip three chain stitches and work one double crochet through one side of the fourth chain. Yarn over the hook first. Insert hook into the left loop of the fourth chain. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook now. Yarn over the hook and pull through the first two loops on the hook. There are two loops on the hook left. Yarn over the hook again and pull through the remaining two loops on the hook. Then work three snip stitches. Two fingers are completed. Continue to crochet two more fingers in the same way as the previous round. There will be four fingers in total. The third one. Work seven chain stitches.
Turn, skip three chain stitches, and work one double crochet through one side of the fourth chain. Yarn over the hook first. Insert hook into the left loop of the fourth chain. Yarn over the hook and plop loop. There are three loops on the hook now. Yarn over the hook and pull through the first loops on the hook. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook again and pull through the remaining two loops on the hook. Then work three slip stitches. The third finger is done. The fourth one works seven chain stitches. Turn, skip three chain stitches, and work one double crochet through one side of the fourth chain. Then work three snip stitches. Four fingers are completed. Then insert hook through the bottom of all fingers to work one snip stitch. Then work 14 single crochets. Please work the rest of some crochets by yourself. Finish a total of 14 some crochets. 14 some crochets are done.